Tyler Soderstrom joins us here on A's Cast Live. We all know his projection and what we expect coming up here in the future. Former number one pick for the Oakland Athletics out of the Central Valley. How are you? I'm good, man. Yeah, pleasure to be on. Yeah, it's great to have you again. A, a lot has changed since the last time we had you on. You were just coming out of high school. You just got drafted. Uh, talk about the difference from, from, from the last time we saw you to what we have now. Yeah, man, just uh, got drafted out of high school in 20. So, you know, I've got matured a little bit, uh, definitely got a little bigger and stronger, a little bit older. So just got more comfortable in the organization. It's been it's been a fun ride. And it's been an interesting ride, especially for the guys of, of your era. And hopefully we'll never see it again. But, you know, with COVID hitting and then all of a sudden you're at the alternate site down in San Jose, it wasn't your average start of, of a career. Uh, have you been able to grow from from I would say that that strange time. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Everything happened so fast. I got drafted. And the next thing I know, and I'm up in San Jose with all these guys that have been in AAA and up and down the big leagues for a long time. So it was uh, definitely a, a learning experience for me. I, I got to learn a lot from it, being around those older guys so early in my career. Um, so I think that definitely helped me. Um, it was pretty crazy. Like you go from the alternate side to be around all these older guys. And I started my career off in Stockton. I'm back with, so it was kind of like a young guys, <laughs> back with the young guys. So it was like, yeah. it was kind of a different feel, but, uh, I got used to it and it was, it was good. Yeah. So, uh, being around those guys, talk about how that really helped you, not only from a catching standpoint, catching all those veteran guys and people need to know that his father, former big leaguer, I played against your dad in college, uh, You've been catching and playing with a lot of older guys, but here you were playing with guys that had some big league experience and then hitting against those guys, what that meant to you. Yeah, it was uh, definitely, like I said, it was a great learning experience for me. Um, I was super young going into it. Um, haven't hadn't really caught out of high school. So it was definitely a learning experience there. Had to learn how to slow the game down. It's definitely way faster than high school baseball. So I had to kind of learn how to slow the game down definitely work on some minor things like my blocking and receiving. So I've worked really hard on that stuff. So that stuff's come a long way and the hitting side of it, I've always been a pretty simple hitter in the box. I like to just slow stuff down and I kind of use that approach there and it went well for me. I uh, saw some pretty good success for my first kind of stint in pro ball. So it went good. Yeah. Now we talk a lot about where are you going to end up? So we want to get from the horse's mouth. What, what do you think? Is it first base? Is it catcher? The bat's going to play. We know that. That's why you're going to have a long career in the big leagues. But where do you want to play defensively? That's the thing, man. Like, I, I feel, me as an athlete, like, I, I feel really versatile. I feel like I could contribute anywhere. Um, I love doing both of them. Honestly, I mean, I love catching. I love playing first base. Um, so, I mean, I would be happy to play either position, man. So, uh, I'm just kind of here to take little things here and there and just keep getting better at those positions and, I mean, I, I would love to catch in the big leagues. I'd love to play first in the big leagues, and I'd also love to hit in the big leagues. So wherever the, the A's want me to play, I'm going to play and just be happy with it. Well, and also the thing, you're athletic enough. I remember we talked to you, you played some shortstop. You can play outfield. I mean, is there really anything you can't play? Uh, I don't think I could play shortstop in the big leagues now. Good uh, challenge, <laughs> Nick Allen. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think Nicky, Nicky's got me there for sure. He's, he's pretty special out there. Um, but, yeah, I, I think – I could handle any corner spot on the infield, and uh, I think I could definitely handle catching too. So, yeah. So, a lot of possibilities for you. So, it, what is the key goal for you in this camp? Um, obviously, I want to I want to get to the big leagues as quickly as possible. So, I want to have a good spring. Um, make the decision a little harder for them, obviously, um, and just push my way up there as quick as I can. So, obviously, learn from the old guys as much as I can. Uh, keep taking stuff from them to help me become a better player, and just get to the get to the show as quick as can yeah i like that make them make a tough decision yeah I, sure. I i i love that idea because i know for you you've done triple a yeah. right i mean do you feel like you have much left to, to do in triple a i mean i was on there for two weeks realistically um i felt super comfortable up there um i know it's towards the end of the season so i mean honestly i feel like i can handle anything right now uh, i had a really good off season put a lot of work in um so i feel really strong right now. I'm really comfortable in all aspects of my game. So I'm excited to get the spring going and just see where that takes us. What do you think you learned most this off season? Um, it was actually like last off season. Um, I kind of had that oblique thing going on from my first uh, pro season in Stockton. So it's my first healthy off season. So I kind of had to 
learn how to balance all that. So it was actually really good to have a, like a good full healthy off season though, because I was able to get all my work in. I was able to start hitting a lot earlier than I did last year. So it was good. Well, that's something also that you start to learn as a professional. You're playing more games than ever before. Yep. There's also there's the mental health, the physical health. Yep. How, how, how do you take care of yourself in the off season? Yep. Do, do you think you've now settled into a nice routine or, or at least established a routine? Yeah, definitely. I think I definitely have established a good routine. Like the most important part is staying healthy. That's the hardest part, I feel like, in my opinion, uh, just to stay healthy and be able to get on the field every day. If you can be on the field every day, I feel like you're going to put yourself – in line to succeed because you're going to be consistent. You're going to be playing every day. Your bat's going to feel good. You're not going to go lose two weeks and then have to kind of work your way back. So it's good. Just So I think I've just established staying healthy is the most important part. And I think that goes into a lot of your off-season off training. you got to really have a good worth ethic, worth ethic in the off-season to kind of keep your body healthy through the season. Has there been a veteran guy that you've – become good friends with that you, you pick his ear and you've learned a lot from um obviously i mean murph was really good to us all last year he always helped us in anything that we need whether that's kind of learning how to do scouting reports and stuff like that i know we have shay now he's been up there with a little experience we have manny who's been in the big leagues for i think eight plus years so he's uh he's helped us a lot too so it's obviously a pretty younger younger clubhouse in there this year um but uh yeah i mean obviously me and also dalton jeffries um same hometown he's been there and done it so i've uh definitely taken a lot away from all those guys did you go back home for the for the for the winter i did i actually spent um some time down here in arizona um this year but i went home for thanksgiving christmas went to tahoe for new year's with some of my friends and family so it was good oh living the good life not bad yeah uh does your dad still have the uh, school down there in the central valley does that is that still going yeah he's still doing the backyard sports academy um so yeah he spends a lot of time doing that helping out the local kids and it's not um it's more of the like on the younger kids side it's not real like high school orientated but we have like little wood bat leagues that they do in the summertime and they do soccer and basketball and a whole bunch of other stuff down there so it's good well i can tell you a lot of people are looking forward to seeing you in an oakland a's uniform yeah. really soon so hopefully they do have to make that tough decision yeah Hopefully they do. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for coming out into the cold. We appreciate oh, yeah. it. And Anytime. good luck. And hopefully next time we see you, we'll be in Oakland. Awesome, man. Yeah. Take care. You too, man.